Imagine, it's the early 1920s. Bacteria has been discovered, and thanks to past year's research, we now know that most bacteria are responsible for the infections and illnesses that occur. Unfortunately, we don't know how to combat these bacteria. And you get a bacterial infection. And you die. But, flash forward to today, you get that same bacterial infection, you go to the doctor. The doctor writes out a prescription for antibiotics. You, being a good patient, you take those antibiotics and you start to feel better. Now, who do we thank for these antibiotics? The answer is Alexander Fleming. In 1928, Alexander Fleming was searching for a wonder drug to combat these bacteria. So what you do is lay out numerous amounts of petri dishes containing bacteria, specifically Staphylococcus. Now, these petri dishes all became contaminated, and unfortunately, he had to scrap his work. So what he did was took all these petri dishes and loaded them into a, a Lysol bath. And unfortunately, there were so many that the ones on top were unable to reach the Lysol and thus remained contaminated. But this was a good thing because it allowed something else to grow besides the bacteria. Weeks go by and one of Alexander Fleming's old research assistants comes in and Fleming, he guilt trips him. He, he shows him all the petri dishes he's been dealing with. And when he was showing him, he noticed that something was growing on these petri dishes besides the bacteria. It was a mold. And the reason this mold caught his eye was because this mold was doing something remarkable. It was killing all of the bacteria on that plate. So, he had found what he was looking for. But the next question was, what was it? What was this mold? Well, it just so happened that in the rooms below him was a mold expert by the name of C.J. La Touche. One day, C.J. La Touche comes up to look at Fleming's mold, and he knows right away what it is. He says, you're dealing with penicillium. He knew this because he was also dealing with penicillin, and by some chance, penicillium had gone airborne from La Touche's lab and landed in Fleming's lab on those petri dishes. Now, Fleming knew what the drug, he knew what the mold was and what it did. The next question was, how did it make this mold into a drug that could be safely used by humans? So, unfortunately, Fleming was unable to break down this mold into a drug usable. So, instead he wrote documents of his findings. Twelve years go by, and World War II happens. And when war happens, there's bacterial infections everywhere. So, it was a main focus to combat these bacterial infections. So two students, two scientists from Oxford University took upon this task. And their names were Howard Flory and Ernst Chain. Now, the first thing these two did was go back and look at old records to try to find something that was missed or something that wasn't continued anymore and they happened upon Fleming's documents and they found penicillium. Now these two were able to take penicillium the mold and turn it into a drug that could be used safely by humans that we know today as penicillin. Because of these three we now have numerous antibiotics for all, all types of bacteria and the reason we're alive today.